In this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to stake some Solana using the Phantom Wallet. I'll start out by showing you how to get set up with the Phantom Wallet, how to send some Solana into the wallet, and then I'll cover how to do native staking as well as liquid staking. And if there's any of those steps that you're already familiar with, you can always use the timestamps in the description down below to skip to a section that's most relevant to you. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a self-custody hot wallet, including Phantom Wallet. Let's get into the video. First things first, if you don't already have the Phantom Wallet, we'll need to download that from phantom.app. And I'll leave a link to this site in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. In this tutorial, I'm using the Chrome browser, so I'm going to download the wallet for Chrome by clicking right here. Then on this page, I'm going to come right up here and click Add to Chrome. And Add Extension. Next, we can choose to import an existing wallet by simply clicking right here. Then you'll have to put in your 12 word secret phrase in order to import your existing wallet. If you're creating a new wallet, we'll simply click right here. Next, come up with a really good password. This password is simply used to unlock the wallet on this specific device that you're using. This is not your seed phrase and you can't use this password to import your wallet to other devices. We'll be dealing with that on the next step. So simply come up with a good password, read through the terms of service, check this box here, then click on continue. On this step here, you'll have to write down your secret recovery phrase. And you can think of this like a master key to your wallet. You can use this secret recovery phrase to recover your wallet, as well as import your wallet to other devices. Just make sure that no one else gets their hands on this recovery phrase. If they do, they're going to have access to your wallet and all the funds inside it. Some folks will even get these recovery phrases ingrained on a metal card. That way, if there's ever a fire, the recovery phrase doesn't get destroyed. So however you choose to back up this recovery phrase, just keep it somewhere safe and don't let anybody get their hands on it. To reveal your secret recovery phrase, just hover your mouse over top of that eye icon. Once you're done writing it down, check this box right here and then click on continue. And you're all done. You'll have created a new phantom wallet. So we'll go ahead and click right here on get started. So what we'll do from here is we'll come up, we'll pin the wallet to our browser. So we'll come up to this little puzzle piece, give it a click. Then we'll click on the pin icon next to Phantom. Now we've pinned it to our browser. Now we can click on the Phantom wallet icon. Wallet's going to drop down and we can put in the password that we came up with when creating the wallet. Now we need to transfer some Solana into the Phantom wallet. You can always buy some Solana by using the buy option right here and then purchase some Solana through a third party service provider. But I already have a little bit of Solana over on Coinbase. So for this demonstration, I'm simply going to transfer that Solana from Coinbase and into my Phantom Wallet. So I'll bring Coinbase into frame. Here on Coinbase, I need to come up here and click where it says Send and Receive. If you're using an exchange called Kraken, you're looking for the Crypto Transfer button, then you'd select Withdraw. And if you're using a major exchange like Binance or an exchange just like it, you're looking for the Crypto Withdrawal form. And usually you can find the Withdraw button on the dashboard of the exchange. So now that I'm on the crypto withdraw form here on Coinbase, I need to make sure it's set to send. And I'm already set to send Solana right here. But if I wasn't, I'd click right here and then I would select Solana from this list here or I'd search for it in the search bar. Now I need to get the deposit address for my Phantom wallet. To do that, I'm simply going to click on the Phantom icon right here. And I'm gonna hover my mouse over where it says account one and I can see the Solana deposit address next to Solana. So this is the deposit address for Solana, as well as any token that's compatible on the Solana network. So to copy this address, I'm simply going to click on it. Next, I'm gonna come back over here to Coinbase, and I'm going to click right here where it says select recipient. Then I'm going to paste in the Phantom Wallet deposit address into this box right here. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna come down here and click on add contact. Now I can give this address a name. So what I'll do is I'll just call this Phantom burner wallet and that's because I'm simply using a burner wallet that I'll be throwing away after I make this tutorial so I'll be deleting this anyways but certainly call your wallet anything that you want maybe something like phantom wallet Solana network whatever you decide so now I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and I'm gonna click on back now I can see that burner wallets deposit address right down here 
So next I need to choose how much Solana I wish to send from Coinbase and into the Phantom Wallet. I just have a small amount of Solana here for this demonstration, so I'll go ahead and just click on Max. But you could always type in a custom amount. Now I'm going to come down here, click on Preview Send, and I'll be selecting Self Custody Wallet. Now I can review the details of the Solana that I'm sending from Coinbase and into my Phantom Wallet and make sure that everything looks the way I intend. And it looks good to me, so I'm going to come down here and click on Send Now. And now that Solana is on its way from Coinbase and into this Phantom Wallet. So a quick tip with this, if it's your first time depositing Solana or any crypto into your Phantom Wallet, just send a small amount first. When the smaller amount arrives as you intended, then you can have the confidence to send in larger amounts. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here on Done. Now when I come up to the Phantom Wallet icon and give it a click, and unlock the wallet, and I can see the Solana has arrived inside my Phantom Wallet from Coinbase, and that didn't take very long. But sometimes transferring tokens into the wallet can take a little bit of time. And you can see my Solana balance right here. If you'd like to stake some Solana and earn a little bit of passive income, come up to your Phantom Wallet and give it a click. Then click on your Solana balance. You'll see right here it says staking, start earning soul. So we'll go ahead and give that a click. You'll see there's two options. There's liquid staking and there's native staking. Native staking is a form of legacy staking. This is where you put your Solana on a validator to help secure the Solana network. In exchange for that, you can typically find an average estimated APY of 6.74%, at least at the time of recording. Sometimes it's a little bit less and sometimes it's a little bit higher. Just keep in mind with native staking, you will not have access to your Solana unless you unstake it. So in the future, if you want to sell your Solana, you'll have to unstake it first. Or if you want to use your Solana on a decentralized application, such as a lending protocol, same thing, you'd have to unstake it first. But you have the option to use liquid staking as well. This also gives you the ability to stake your Solana, but during this process, you're minted another token called Jido Staked Soul, and this token will be credited to your wallet. The estimated APY that you can see here will be accrued to the value of the Jido token that you own. The price of the Jido Staked Solana will move up and down alongside Solana, but it is designed to outrun the price of Solana by the accrued APY. For example, if we view Jido Stake Solana on CoinMarketCap, we can see at the time of making this video that each Jido Stake Solana token is worth 162. But if I bring Solana into frame, you can see that Solana is currently trading at 144. So the Jido tokens are worth more than Solana. Remember, the APY is accrued to the value of the Jido token. So over time, the Jido tokens will be worth more than the Solana tokens but Jido will still move up and down alongside Solana within market volatility. For example, if we look at Solana's chart here, you can see that it's just been chopping sideways here, putting in a high at approximately $202 and currently trading at 144. And just take a good look at this chart right here. So now when I bring in Jido stake Solana, you can see that Jido has been moving alongside and the chart looks almost identical. You can see that Jido reached 222 and is currently trading at 163. So if the value of Solana is dropping, Jido will be dropping as well, but the Jido will always remain more than the price of Solana. So when you go to unstake your Jido tokens, the value of the Jido token should be more than the value of the Solana tokens. Now, because the staking reward is applied to the value of the Jido token, you're able to move the Jido tokens around as well as use them on decentralized applications such as lending protocols. So not only can you earn the APY that's getting accrued to the value of the Jido tokens that you own, but you can also further increase your rewards by using your Jido tokens on a decentralized applications like a lending protocol. And this is why it's called liquid staking. When you wish to unstake, you can do so by simply swapping your Jido tokens back into Solana, a stable coin like Tether, or any other crypto that you choose. So if this seems like a better option for you, give it a click. Then you'll see here, introducing liquid staking with Jido, so feel free to give that a read through. If you like it, click on got it. Right here, choose how much Solana that you wish to stake. You can type a custom amount or you can click on max. And right down here, you'll see the current best conversion rate. So at the time of recording, one Solana would equal 0.887 Jido Sol. So for every Solana that you stake, you'd be receiving this amount of Jido. 
For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just do a custom amount, like so. Then click on Next. Then come down here and click on Stake. Now it's minting me that Jido Soul for my Solana. Minting complete. So now my Solana is staked and I have some Jido Soul in my wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Close. So let's come up here and click on the back button. Then we'll click on the back button once again. Now we're back to the home page of the wallet. And as you can see, I've got some Jido staked soul tokens right here. Now, if you'd like to unstake, we'll come down here, click on Jido staked soul. We'll click right here on swap. We'll go ahead and click on this arrow right here. Now you can see we're set to swap Jido staked soul back into Solana. We'll choose how much we wish to swap back. So I'll just go ahead and click on max. I can see how much Solana I'll be receiving for my swap. So we'll come down here, click on review order. You'll see your network fee right here. Remember, this is going to be paid out of the native token for the network that you're using. And in my case here, it's less than two cents worth of Solana. Looks fine to me. So I'm going to come down here, click on swap. Now the swap in the tokens and it's done. So we're going to come down here, click on close. We'll come down here, click on the dollar sign. And now when we come back to the home page of the wallet, you can see my Jido soul is no longer in here and it got converted back into my Solana balance. And remember, you can swap your Jido tokens into a stable coin if you wish, like Tether or any other crypto. You don't have to swap it back into Solana in order to unstake. And if you'd like to use the native staking, just click on your Solana balance. We'll click right here, start earning soul. Then we click right here on native staking. Select the validator that you wish to use. Of course, you'll see the estimated APY next to each of these validators, but make sure to do your research on the validator and that it's a validator that you trust. You can also see how much Solana is staked on that validator as well. So you can see here at the Phantom Validator that there's 486,000 Solana staked on that validator. So we'll go ahead and click here on Phantom Validator. Once again, choose how much Solana you wish to stake. I'll just demonstrate by doing 0.2. Right down here, you can review the details of that validator. So the Phantom Validator has an estimated APY of 6.91%, 9% commission, and of course the total staked right here. Looks fine to me, so I'm gonna come down here, click on stake. Now I'm staking that Solana on the Phantom Validator. You can see that they're currently creating me a staking account, then delegating the Solana to the Phantom Validator. And this can take a little bit of time. Now my Solana is staked, so we'll click on close. Now we can see on my Solana balance, under staking that I have a stake of 0.2. To see how that's doing, we can give it a click. And you can see the Phantom Validator right here. And currently this is still activating, but once it's activated, the Solana will begin to collect rewards. If you wanna view the details of your rewards, just give it a click. And then right here, you can see the details of your stake. You'll be able to see your last reward right down here. In my case here, this is still activating. So obviously I'm not collecting rewards just yet. Now in the future, if you want to unstake, you just come down here and click on unstake. Now my Solana is being unstaked. And just like that, my Solana is now unstaked. So we'll come down here, we'll click on close. Now we can see that the Phantom Validator is now inactive. So what we would do from here is we'd click on that. Then we'd come down here and we'd withdraw our Solana from this validator. So I'll click here on withdraw stake. Now my Solana is withdrawn. So we'll click on close. We'll come up here, click on back. You can see my Solana balance has now been updated back to 0.75. We'll click on back once again. And as you can see, my Solana has been returned to my wallet. There you have it. That's how you can stake some Solana using the Phantom Wallet. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also feel free to check out my other Phantom Wallet tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.